Good morning YouTube. It's November 26th and here in the Thuringian forest we already got snow. And I love riding in fresh snow. With this bike. That's a really fun experience. So some people ask about a little update on the bike. And I'm trying to just tell you some little things. First thing, I love it still. I'm riding easier and a bit harder mountain bike stuff, trails, and I'm not missing anything, especially since I went for tubeless and these big tires. So I changed my front tire from 2.4 to 2.25 as it's in the back and it works fine on all the terrain I'm riding. I've got to say I'm only using it for off-road and yeah, trail riding as I got a road bike as well. But I think with some skinnier tires it's perfectly fine for a for road bike as well as long as you're not aiming for racing. Yeah, so what did I change as well? Uh, also, I mean, I went for this more gravel style riding for a longer stem and a more narrow bar. So I, this bar I still had from my road bike. It's a 42 centimeter Ritchie and the stem I had as well. It's 110 millimeter. Slammed it down. Get a bit more of the road bike feel. That's what I like on gravel roads and it's still fine for off-road riding. But for real mountain bike riding, the stuck short Kona stem and the wider bar really feels better to me. I also stayed with the with a saddle that comes with the bike. It's nice and narrow. It's right all right for off-road riding, so you got plenty of room to yeah, to jump around basically and it's comfortable to me stuck with the gearing but for yeah more trail riding i also got a 32 front ring this is still the 36 got some richie pedals here spd yeah what else so far Trails that are not too gnarly and you don't want to have a mountain bike. This is the one you can really really use for that. And also for most riding you will ever do. So as long as you're not racing road races or mountain bike races that are too hard, this bike will work fine. I did already a mountain bike marathon race and I never felt like I need a suspension with the big tires and the tubeless setup. I was absolutely happy. So I hope this video helped with your questions. And I want to say uh, the 2018 Sutra comes with through axles, so this is the only thing that I would have liked on this bike. The through axles, I think Kona did a good upgrade here. Got a bit more expensive, but I would have paid it. But I'm sticking with that one as it's really suiting my riding style, my geometry and everything I want to do with it. So, that's it. I'm going to continue my little winter ride. Getting really cold hands now. So, see you in a bit. Bye-bye.